Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I guess continuing with the theme of special effects, I have a Neo Pixel Goggle Kit, but unlike the audio special effects, this is visual special effects. And I saw these goggles, I wanted to build up a pair myself, for myself. And this kit here from Adafruit has got everything that you need. It's got the goggles. It's got two Neo Pixel rings. Battery is the Adafruit trinket, 5 volt trinket. JST connector. I wanted one of these here for a micro lipo USB charger. And some cable. So let's start building this. So this is more of a decorative prop, special effects visual prop that you would want to wear but not over your eyes. Not a good idea to have these Neo Pixels which are pretty bright over your eyes. So the first thing I want to do is to put this JST connector on the trinket. Won't be using these header pins because this will be glued into the goggles. So I won't be using these. And this has to go on to here. So the first thing I want to do, so this connector goes on here. So this is so small Good idea is to just take one of these pads and tin it. A little bit of solder. And then reheat it. And tack down one of these leads here. Oh, it's all over the place. a little to the side. Okay, now I can solder the rest. Then redo this one. And then the sides, you can see right there, little tab, you have to bridge some solder onto that. Let's see, do I need a finer tip? I think I got that. Next I need to take this ribbon cable and separate it into groups of three wires. So this So I've got two separate ribbon cables consisting of three wires each. I've pulled back about an inch on each end, separated the wires about an inch, and I'm just stripping the insulation off and I'm going to twist the wires so they don't fray and then tin them. So now I can go ahead and start wiring these Neo Pixel rings. They have a V plus, a ground, and an in and out data in and out. 
So one will be uh, out and that will feed the input to the next NeoPixel ring. So you can see more clearly on the back here is a data input and a data output. 5 volts in the ground. So I've got the wires attached to the NeoPixels. So this wire here goes to the trinket and then you just tie the 5 volt lines and the ground lines together and the data out from here goes to the data in on this NeoPixel. Alright, I've got the trinket soldered to the two NeoPixel rings and I've already uh, installed the library, the NeoPixel library into the Arduino IDE. They've got a, a program on the Adafruit website, just need to copy and paste it and into the IDE and then upload it to the trinket. So let's see if I can get everything working here. Okay, so I just got through adding the support for the Adafruit trinket and some of their other products to the Arduino IDE. That was a lot of work. I had to add the drivers too. So I've cut and paste program from the Adafruit website and let me see let me verify it hopefully it verifies and then see if I can load it onto the trinket okay I found a little piece of information I have to press this reset button after the USB cable is hooked up and then press upload So let's see if that works. So reset. And then upload. It's blinking. Well, that was a little vital piece of information. And I still have some type of error. These don't light until the battery is hooked up. So. It's, it's saying I've got some type of error, but let's see what's going on here. This is not very clear. Expect 4 got minus 5. So I'll disconnect this. Let's see what happens when the battery is connected. Whoa. Okay, so it works, but it gives you errors. AVR dude error usb tiny underscore receive expected four got minus five i don't know it seems to be working just need to put these in the goggles now like that pattern that one just too random that I like that's random but it looks better with the green I think that's definitely I think the best. I 
need to wire an on off switch too. I forgot to have these tactile on off switches. Uh, I'll have to order one, but I've got these little tiny ones. I can use some heat shrink to cover up those leads, but. Yeah, this is strange. It gives you the impression that it's not working or there's an error that when you upload and it looks like you have a certain time frame that the program, I mean, what if it's in a long, a long program? You hit the reset button and then you hit upload for your sketch. So I had this message there that gave me the impression that the sketch had a problem. But it looks like that just might be a communications problem that wasn't critical. Okay, now that the Neo Pixels and the Trinket are working, let's take a look at the goggles. These caps come off of these lenses here. So there's a little piece of plastic that bridges this little slot here. And if you cut that away, you can then insert, have the uh, cable inserted into that slot. So this cable here in between the two uh, NeoPixel rings can go across. I think I can just break that off or cut that out. Oh yeah, that's just like butter. Okay, so now the NeoPixel ring can go on this side. Cable comes over, and this one will be in here. Oh, let me put trinket through there. I'm going to have to glue that. So to give it a diffused look, I'm going to take one of these lenses, and I have this vellum. I'm going to use this lens as a template and cut out some circles here to go in between the two. Yes, they have this diffuser and then the regular glass. So this will break up the light. So I'm gonna put two pieces of vellum on each lens. That's that one. That. Now we just need to tack these down with some glue or epoxy. So I'm going to tack the NeoPixel ring with the Adafruit symbol at 12 o'clock. Guess that's enough. Just tack it. I don't know how long that takes to set up. Hold that for a second. So I don't know, but you can't pick that up. You can see I just put a little there. And I'll put some more on the bottom. That's pretty secure. And it's suggested to use some of this E6000 uh, industrial strength adhesive for strain relief. 
on these wires here. So I'll glue them to the board so that they're not taking the full stress at the point where it's soldered to the trinket. You can see where I tacked the trinket. I've got a dab I put above the JST connector uh, on the back of it and then pressed it down and then on the two corners on the two sides here I put hot glue and that's really secure that's that's not going anywhere so all I need to do is add the battery now looks like the battery's charged because I don't see a red light on anymore it's just the green so this little micro lipo charger worked out pretty good. So this should be all set. Hopefully I didn't break any wires while assembling it. Uh, I'm going to install an on off switch at a later date. I'm going to purchase one of those tactile um, switches, on off switches, or maybe even a capacitive touch and glue it onto the side here. I don't know, but anyways, here's the battery, and hopefully this will still work when I go to plug it in. Hope I didn't block anything with the glue, or the angle that it's at. Okay, that, that's going, okay, there it is. We got nervous there for a second. So I can just tape that in with some tape. It's so light. If I tuck it in underneath those wires, well, I don't want to flex those wires too much. But let's see what it looks like diffused. I'll turn the light off. I like that pattern, but with the green, I think. That, that one there. So I don't think I've appeared in any of my videos yet, so this will be the first. I'll make the exception in this video. So if you found this video interesting, feel free to subscribe, like, and or comment. Thanks for watching. Remember this is for decoration only. Do not wear these over your eyes.